Hey friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel putting up with the pom-poms I am Shantae. I am mommy of the three beautiful girls and in this one we are doing Kalia's wash day So I rarely film the girls wash day because I just it's a lot It takes a lot for me to do it and then on wash day I'm doing three heads not including my own so I, I just tend to just do styling videos But in this one I wanted to give a more detailed look into Kalia's wash day now before I go any further if you are new to our channel please do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video to all of my returning subscribers hey bestie hey mama hey friend hope you are being safe and blessed as always so let's go ahead and jump straight into this for her shampoo I'm going in with the texture ID the original brand and then I'm going in with the texture ID coils for her conditioner so it takes me a good five minutes to get Kalia's hair completely soaked she has high peroxide city hair so it tends to be very dry but it also dries very easily once it is wet and products that I use on her hair have to be very thick and dense creams very like heavy creams butter creams those kind of products are what I tend to use and a lot of oil especially like castor oil coconut oil um, yeah heavy oils are definitely her best friend so um once I get her hair completely wet I go in with the shampoo and I focus mainly on her uh, scalp to cleanse the scalp from all of the oil buildup, the gel buildup, product buildup, all that good stuff. And then I work it down the shaft of her hair. Like I said, her hair is tends to be dry. So she soaks up, her, her hair soaks up product. So once I have shampooed and conditioned, I am now going to detangle. I take her upstairs because it takes me another 20 minutes just to detangle. Y'all see all this hair, right? Okay, like y'all understand why it takes me 20 minutes, if not more, to just detangle her hair. I work in small sections. She is also tender headed. So this requires like me to like just be, be patient. It requires a lot of patience because homegirl be sitting in there squirming and crying and everything and I be doing like barely anything like barely touching her hair but I try to listen to her signs or I see her telltale signs of when her hair is when detangling her hair is very uncomfortable and when it is and when I do see that she's just like can't stand the brush going through her hair I put the brush down and I'll just finger detangle I only use the Tangle Teaser to detangle her hair. Um, I don't use any combs. Like a comb, <laughs> that's funny. No, there's no such thing as a comb for Kalia's hair. So the Tangle Teaser seems to be the only brush where she does not do a bunch of squirming. The Demon Brush is the devil. She hates that thing. And uh, there's that other brush that, that is like a flexible like detangling brush. Straight bullshit. Don't even bother buying that. I'm gonna let you know now. It does absolutely nothing for myself or for Kalia. Um, I think the only person who uses it is my husband. He has straight hair. So that should tell you there why, why that brush is straight bullshit. After I section off her hair and detangle each section, I twist them back up just to keep them from re-tangling back up because with high porosity hair, you do experience a lot of tangles and those tangles can lead to a lot of breakage. So keeping them in those twists definitely helps with that. I usually have anywhere from five to six sections after I'm done with uh, detangling Kalia's hair. Um, yeah, yeah, five to six sections guys because that's just how thick her hair is. Hair is just so thick. And then some sections are really bad. She's very tender headed around the nape of her neck. And she's also very tender around, tender um, in the center of her head. And usually those are her most like tangled sections is the center of her head and the nape of her neck. So I just showed y'all a glimpse of some of her shed hair. Now that is a lot. That is not her usual amount of shed hair, but she just had braids in for the past month. So she hasn't been getting her weekly washes and detangling and stuff like that. So that's why it looked like, oh my God. But also Kalia has a lot of hair. So what looks like a lot of shed hair to you is just really kind of just normal for her because her hair is just that thick and, and long. So, um, I try not to get too like uh, like you're freaking out about it like especially since I know her routine with her hair and then in the winter time she does experience more shed as well and she experiences a lot more growth during the summertime hair strands have a life cycle they grow they shred shed they grow they shed 
Um, so for Kalia, her grow season is the summertime and her shed season is the winter time. And that's pretty much the same for all of my girls across the board. Most of them have their shed season where it's very heavy shed season is the winter time, especially Kehlani. Kehlani experiences a lot of shed during the winter time. And then the summertime, homegirl has six inches of hair in three weeks. It's just insane. So here is the wonderful ball of shed. Um, like I said, this is a month's worth of shedding hair um, because she was wearing braids and, you know, product buildup and all that extra stuff probably did, you know, help with that shed as well, but it's okay. So now we're rinsing out the conditioner after decontangling, detangling everything. Um, I take another five minutes pretty much to rinse out all the conditioner as well as getting her hair soaking wet because as I'm detangling for those 20, 30 minutes, her hair is already trying to dry. Like that's just how high porosity hair works. So I have to work fast, but also patient, but also take my time. Like it's like so confusing. I towel dry, take her back upstairs because now we're going to get into styling her hair. Now this won't be a style video. This will just be showing you how I blow dry her hair because I wanted her to walk around with blow dried hair because it's just it's just easier to manage. So I'm going in with the TPH that's by Taraji and I'm going in with a hot commodity as her um, heat protectant and I like it like I saw a lot of bad reviews about it but I've used it and I've used it on Kalia and I haven't had any issues with it it's very lightweight it doesn't give like that sticky feeling because there's been some like um heat protectants that i've tried that are just like super sticky on her hair but no i don't have that problem and then it also smells good so yeah like it's a plus for me i like it and it's not like super expensive either so um, I sprayed that very liberal on her hair and then again those same sections that I did for the detangling I'm doing those in her blow drying treatment as well and once everything is dry I'm gonna go in with that TPH this is a dry oil and this is just to add shine really it's not penetrating anything it's really just used to add shine um, because like I said high porosity hair it always looks like it's dry like you ain't did nothing to it so I just sprayed this on as a gloss really that's really all it's doing it's just to make her hair look cute um, and if I do need to add a oil like a penetrating oil I use the blue magic coconut oil hair conditioner I believe I said that right um, and yeah I use that you know especially towards her ends because you know the ends are the oldest part of the hair so I definitely try to keep those moisturized hydrated sealed all that good stuff So I'm also gonna talk about the brush real quick. So it just depends on my mood, what kind of brush that I use when I'm blow drying her hair. Um, in this video, I'm using one of those metal cylinder bristle kind of brushes. I like it because it definitely helps with like straightening the hair while it's being blow dry because the blow dryer is heating up the brush, which in turn is like heating up the hair. And I, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but I do like it for that reason. And then um, once I'm like completely done with her whole entire head, I'll go back in with a paddle brush. Um, I like the paddle brush because it's great for detangling her hair when her hair is straight not for when it's curly she hates the paddle brush but when her hair is straight she can tolerate the paddle brush and then um i just like that it kind of like massages her scalp too as i'm brushing it with this little bristle brush i can't i can't mm -mm, that ain't no massage that's like you know ugh, like it feels awful on the scalp but it does great on the hair I'm putting those same twists back into those sections after I'm done blow drying because I do not want her hair to get tangled up again. Um, and then when we are done blow drying the entire head, I'm then gonna go in and give her hair or her scalp. I'm going to oil her scalp, which is her favorite part. She loves getting her scalp oiled. So I'm going in with the Pretty Strands Hair Oil. Love this 
oil. I, I can't, I mean, I cannot exaggerate on how much I love this oil. It's very heavy and thick and oh my gosh, it does wonders on Kalia's hair. I don't really use it for Lonnie and Boo's hair and if I do, I mean, I use a tiny amount. But for Kalia, oh, if I could pour this whole bottle onto Homegirl's scalp, I promise you I would, but you know, that'll just be overkill. But I love it. It has so many like great essential oils in it, great growth oils in there, great sealants and moisturizing oils in there. Love it. And ooh, child, we are done, all right? That was two hours right there. Two hours of washing and just blow drying because I, I haven't even styled it yet. So this is why wash day in my house starts at, at, at the crack of dawn, okay? And we are up until eight o'clock at night. <laughs> oh, somebody come save me. Well, thank you guys for joining us on a, another hair tutorial here on our channel, Putting Up With The Pom Pons. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.